All right. Well, a provocative new theory is making the rounds of the scientific community. The idea that our earliest ancestors came from Mars. Derek Pitts is the chief astronomer and planetarium director at Philadelphia's Franklin Institute. Good morning to you. Good morning. I'm the biggest skeptic. So when I heard this, I said there's no way. But then when I read the research about how the conditions of Earth versus Mars three billion years ago, Mars seems a little bit more hospitable. I mean, we really could be from Martians. Well, you know, we could also be Neptunian for that matter <laughs> when we look at all these studies. But, you know, the fact of the matter is that um, what's been done here is we've looked at this possibility that life could come from someplace else. And this has been around for quite some time. And the idea of this study says that it's possible that the conditions on Mars early in its history were better than the conditions on Earth early in our history. So maybe life developed there and then came here somehow. How far away are we from actually proving something like this? Oh, we're very far away from proving something like this. We really now have only a very limited amount of uh, data on this. We have the data that comes from all of the probes that we've sent to, the, to Mars over the last two decades or so. But we can also look at meteorites here on Earth that have come from Mars. And they help to give us a little bit of a window into the chemistry of early Mars, but not enough of a window. So we need to do a lot more to better understand the early history of the environment at Mars. Without getting too scientific, it sounds like RNA predates DNA and they believe that RNA came from Mars? What they believe is that there were conditions on Mars in its early history that was more conducive to the development of RNA before it might have been conducive to RNA on Earth. Now none of this is proven. These are suggestions that are being made just looking at the samples of meteorites we have and some of this uh, data that comes from the other uh, probes. So this is kind of the beginning of a conversation if you will. It is. That's a great way to say it. It's the beginning of a conversation of what things could have been like. And remember, for as much material as we have, data that we have, we still have a lot more to prove before we can actually say that these were the conditions. We're only sort of, we're, we're pretty much certain about what the conditions were like here on Earth, but on Mars, we really don't know very much about that early history yet. Okay. So this, this isn't an alien idea is what we're saying? It's not. The idea is called panspermia, and it's an idea that says that life came to Earth from someplace else in space. That idea has been around for a while, but this idea that we can better understand the early chemistry of Mars, as Dr. Stephen Benner is saying, is the one that gives us this idea that perhaps the RNA could have developed on Mars earlier than Earth. So what happens next? What do they need to prove conclusively that this is really, that we're all Martians? Oh, we need to do a <laughs> lot more research to understand what the early conditions were like on Mars. We need to do a lot more also to understand the various kinds of ways in which life could develop. We only really know of one way in which life could develop, or we have a good idea that many scientists accept for how life has developed on this planet, but it could have developed differently on another planet. Right. So we have to try to better understand what all those possibilities are first and then apply those to those conditions we think may have been on Mars. And quickly, how could it have gotten from there to here is the other question. Hitch a ride. <laughs> hitch a ride. And, you, and this is an idea of hitching a ride either on a meteorite that comes to Earth from Mars uh, or an asteroid that comes to Earth from Mars just as a hitchhiker and it finds better conditions. The microorganisms that might have come from Mars find better conditions to develop here on Earth. All right. Derek Pitts, thank you so much. Really fascinating. My pleasure.